So, uh, the story continues. The Arcos Internet Tablet is not bricked. Charbax oh. is in the chat session and he's advising me to do recovery mode, which was basically power off the device and then hold the volume button down and power on the device, keep the volume button held down and it enters into this uh, this recovery mode. We've got a couple of options <coughs> here. Would you like to recover your system? No. Update for firmware, repair disk, format disk, check file system, force touchscreen calibration. And now I'm hoping to look into the chat room to see... What Charlotte says, says and he format. says format. Duke Swarf says format, and yeah. um, so uh, format this. We okay. wanted to, to to upgrade the firmware. <laughs> so I guess you press the power button to select volume to choose power button to select. Would you like to format your system? Format. All right. Last chance. Chat room. Yes. Go go, 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 go. Format. Recovery. Without Please these wait. instructions, you would actually try to do the, the firmware upgrade again, I, be, I believe. Probably, I would do yeah, that. Yeah. I wouldn't do the format. I, it wouldn't even come to my mind. Why format the media yeah. if you want to upgrade the firmware? Yeah. I'm connected to computer charbacks, yes. <laughs> Oh dear. Well, at least these videos might help other people. Yeah. But I'm, I'm looking forward to testing the new firmware, to be honest. If it does make it stable, yeah, it's, it's solid now because it wasn't that nice. Yeah, yeah. I have to grab Download the more firmware. coffee cups, so back All in right. one. Cool. Right. Thanks, Charmex. I wonder if this chat session is saved on uh, ILC. Uh, let's turn that link again. So, save file. Let's put that in my distribution area. So it's saying, please wait. It's presumably uh, reinstalling firmware from from ROM or something. Original firmware is probably the original original firmware, which is okay. That worked. Uh, so save this file somewhere. So I'm now saving the firmware onto my PC, and we're going to go for. Uh, I need to create a new, file, a new folder called Arcos. Arcos. And then save the firmware there. And then back to Charbax for the next instructions. So, Charbax. Oh, scrolled up the screen. Wait, 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 wait. Hopped. Okay, here's the change log. Blur, auto reconnect for ATTP, that's nice. Faster MKV parser, good. Smooth HC64, good. Cell phone tethering for tethering support. That was there anyway, wasn't it? Sound recorder, okay. TV output support, okay, that's with the dongle. Oh, that's another snap on. Okay, FTP and Samba. Oh wow, that's cool. That's nice. So I can use it as a file server. Android debug bridge. Okay, that's for developers, right? Oh, sound saturation issue has been fixed. Okay, because it was overloading quite a bit, so I presume they just they just um, tweaked the volume internally. Media center faster shortcuts. That's good. Improved GPS and Wi-Fi driver GPS improvements would be would be um, welcome. Right, so connect your device to your PC and install an update file. So now I've, it's popped up. I've got um, two files, or is it just one? So the Arcos Rec. 
has appeared on my PC as an E drive so I now need to transfer that file <laughs> Jigsaw off. so I now need to try and transfer that file one second computer data this Android sorry not Android of course I've got the firmware so basically I just drop the AOS file into the, uh, the, the the folder on the Arcos right okay transfer Ubuntu in the back using your PC just to root yeah root on the E drive right yep root okay so reasonable file transfer speeds on the Arcos the the the, the Transfer is nice. Okay, that's on there. And it says done. So I presume I press uh, the power button again. Yeah, because it says done here. And then um, I guess it's going to reboot. Just waiting for confirmation that I need to press the power button on the uh, device. Charmac says yep. Okay, done. No response yet. Uh, did I press? Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't press the button hard enough. Okay. Cool. So now it's going to re reboot, pick up that firmware file, and, and use that, is it? And then we'll be up to 1.1 with all the new features and total stability. <laughs> James, one great question. Charbax, do you still like Arcos? Yo, back. Yo, so Just working. So a very a fairly clean method of a firmware update. Basically, it yeah. um, it rebooted and 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 fired up uh, an E drive, a USB drive on my PC. So I've just dropped the firmware into that drive and pressed the button on the Arcos, and it's now updating. It's found the new file. It says update file exists. Updating. Oh, cool. So, so at least and you got it all on video, so you can you yeah. can post that to instruct others. So yeah. that's great. Yeah, that's useful. So yeah, it says update file exists. Updating. Yeah. yeah so that so. Hopefully they've fixed the update process in this uh, firmware. Charbax assures me they have. Hmm. So we should actually lock these video uh, videos up in a pay view system, <laughs> yeah. So that anyone that wants to know the answer, how to fix their R cost, they have to pay. What do you think? I say five euros. People are going to pay? Nah, twenty. <laughs> twenty euros. Yeah. Twenty right. for and, the and answer. It to to R cost App Store. We we'll probably make more profit than R cost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Make it as an app. <laughs> you have to pay for. No, the R cost. Store would be better. Yeah. Yes, I paid out. Hey, there, there is some, some price details on on the HD, two, now on Engadget talking about UK release uh, without well, unlocked device for uh, four sixty nine pounds, which, which, which is, is like seven forty US, which is like four. How much is it in euros? Um, how much is it in dollars? Seven forty. So it's like six hundred. I guess. Forty euros in pounds is six hundred ninety-three. So seven. Oh, sorry. You said seven hundred forty pounds. No, no, no. Uh, dollars. So it's like uh, five one nine. Five okay. twenty euros. <laughs> That's not okay. Bad. Which is the same as their nine hundred. 500 euros, yeah. Still um, updating. Yeah, I, I think I have to think about that because the, the real thing why I was interested in that is the screen and the capacitive touch, the screen size with the capacitive touch, and as it's pretty dim. 
and uh, with Windows Mobile on it, I can easily hack a, a key keyboard on it. So, right. That that could be a really really nice uh, nice mod. I don't know if people mod their phones, but I've been thinking that a lot now nowadays because uh, there are so many slates coming, and there's only one device with a good keyboard, and that's the Pro 2. But it's the the platform is so much older than on these yeah. new ones. Yeah. Okay, that's going to take a while to uh, to update. I'll leave it recording. I'm just going to get an, another glass of water. Back in a sec. Anything else going on on the mobile mobile environment? Sidekick sidekick still not working, I guess. <laughs> Uh, more info about Sharp with ARM 8. You mean the networker? What kind of information are you looking for? I've been using it quite quite a lot in uh, actually in outside environment because the screen is the best there is for outside use. It's really really good outside. What kind of info you want? But it is slow, so if you really need to do stuff with it, it's slow. <laughs> yeah, just ask what you what you need to know. I'm not that good in Linux, like you may know, but I can try to answer. Check it out. Yeah, we see that. It might so, be living soon. Okay, it looks like it's living. Tap the center of the first cross. So this is basically standard uh, setup procedure. Uh, someone, by the way, someone was talking about the reasons why Arcos didn't include all the uh, Google Android stuff, and the reason was that actually Google is not letting them because it doesn't have a 3G and CAM. So I don't right. know. Yeah, it doesn't mean the, the, maybe, you know, the specs. Yeah, but is it true or just a rumor? That's another thing. Charbox, what do you think? Yeah. I, there's I no vibration mode. I, I, I think aren't, uh, Arcos really did that because they want to do that, not because Google didn't let them. So are you really saying that we will get all the apps as they are released with a with a higher resolution for uh, for Arcos, or or how do you see that happening? I don't really trust on Arco still, but that's just just my point. What if I working now? Yeah, wait. Uh, use network provided values. No, just got to set the date. Uh, what have we got now? October. Just flipped over, isn't it? To thirteenth. Oops. 13th of October 2009. Uh, okay. Set. Set the time. And we are at uh, 0. 23 minutes past 12. Oh, sorry, a bit more than that. 27. Right. That's the basic setup. Okay, it's telling me to check for firmware updates, but I don't think I need to do that. So we're back in action. Oh, without any apps. That was a shame. Alright, so, um, yeah, I have to do some testing on this. So, what are the major differences, anyone? Quicker, uh, quicker everything. Is Twidroid still there? Video playback? Jabak is talking about MT KV seven twenty. Where's the App Store? Hmm. 
Hmm, don't see the app store. <laughs> Maybe they got rid of that. <laughs> they removed the app store. Now. <laughs> There's a freaking app store. Uh, comments uh, on NI. No app store life, anymore. Yes. Oh, you have to download it separately. <laughs> no. <laughs> you what? <laughs> Just copy and paste it. Great. <laughs> Oh, oh man! You have to Thomas, download the app store. I can't how he can really be positive oh, about man. this thing. Just what do you mean? Oh, Just okay. Um, thanks, Charbox, for the link. So I save that. Save. It will be pre-installed, but what about the current users? Yeah. Oh man, that's pretty poor. So actually, I need to switch USB on and mount. And then I can, uh... <sighs> <laughs> this is fun, huh? No, I'm, I'm not really sure if it's any more even fun. Oh, so I will put it in downloads. Firm oh, let me put the firmware in there. Absolute.apk. And then we should be able to get file manager here. Oh, I'll probably have to disconnect. Storage, go to the file manager and then in my downloads folder there's the apps lib N that in store. Amazon yes N900 there is only one version of N900 uh, uh, what's that called like a modem it's the same all over but the keyboards might be different so I I used the one with the Nordic keyboard so actually the keyboard was way different than the one Steve has so I would actually, if I, I, I buy the N900, I would prefer the Amazon one because it has the uh, Aurora keys uh, without FM key, which I think I, li I would like. On the Nordic keyboard, uh, there is uh, more buttons uh, for, for some extra, extra keys, so you don't get the direct up and down button and so on, which are good for browsing. All right, then, after no, that no. last um, AppSlib app install, it looks like uh, everything's back, Wi-Fi's back, Bluetooth's back. Okay. We're connected to... So, so back, back to N900 for a bit, people right. asking questions. Let me just uh, close off this video, then. Yep. So that was... Um, yeah, I hope that helps people with the uh, Arcos upgrade. So just to be clear, that was 1.02, 2 up to a 1.1 firmware upgrade. All right. Questions to Arcos fans forum, arcosfans.com forum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's close that off.